Here we go, the first case that should have 2015 new models. It's September of 2014 here in the USA. And if you're wondering what I'm talking about, these are the case codes right here. AAS is the case code, AAS. So we're talking about AK series. What's in this assortment is representation of what you might be seeing in your area when these cases hit your stores. It might be an AAS, might be an AVV, might be whatever. It's the first digit that indicates the case code. And yes, this is the video that you want to watch and make a couple suggestions and have a shot at a shout out in my track time presentation. Now with this being the 2015 new models, uh, just want to show real quick. The USA cards have new for 2014. The international packages do not have the new for 2014. This is a an international or worldwide case on the back in the USA. We can tell the case code because it says P. So this is from uh, P, almost the last case code of 2014. Whereas international or worldwide packages, you can't tell the case code. They have this red lettering and it does not say new for 2014. So let's see what they're going to do for 2015 if there's any differences. Another thing is that in the corner here it says two, this is collector number 210 out of 250. There were 250 different releases. Now they could have had multiple colors, but each color, if this one happened to have two different colors, they're going to use the same collector number. 250 models uh, for the collector series in 2014. Let's have a look and see what they're going to do for 2015. It looks like 250 again. We'll keep an eye on that. And by the way, the packages, it looks like they look the same. I don't see any changes. Sometimes they'll change the appearance of the package between the years. This is a carryover. Oh, yeah. Just because this is 2015 doesn't mean it's 72 new cars all 2015. Every case code is going to have carryovers from the previous assortment okay it's not all it's not going to be all a case cars you'll see some q case from last month off duty canyon carver that's a new one right there bmw e36 m3 race let's take a look at that canyon carver see if we can find anything different I don't know if this is actually part of the 2014 series of cars. Is this a last one at the tail end of 2014? Or if this is a 2015? Uh, I'm not sure. Because to be honest with you, I don't pay attention to the series or any of that stuff. I just collect the models and the international worldwide packages. They don't, they don't have a lot of the extra information on the back like the USA. Oh yeah, look at that. 12 Acura NSX concept. Very nice. Got some uh, headlight tamples. Nice stripe going over the top. And tail light tamples. Very nice. Super Blitzen. And for you drone accelerators fans, RDO2. Not looking very drone, but he's pretty he's a pretty wild design. Looks good. Looks good with the tample scheme. I don't know about the baby blue wheels, but otherwise, hey, so people are going to want to see that. Maximum leeway. Quicksand. And another BMW E36 race. Got another 12 Acura NSX concept. It looks like they're going to keep going with those wheels. Ford Shelby GR-1 concept. That one we haven't seen in a long time. That's a, not a new model. I'll let you, since we haven't seen it in a long time, I'll let you get a look at them. Here we have the cool combi. And while I'm letting you look at it, pretty cool, huh? It's like a surfing type uh, casting. It's got the surfboard sticking out the back. So I love the tampos, kind of making it look like the old woody. You got wood panel sights. This one is going to be super treasure hunt. So if you find one in a, a darker green color with rubber tires, that's the treasure hunt that you're going to be looking for. Don't forget, you can make a suggestion of a model or two for track time. Please, only one or two. If you go over, I just I don't even consider you. I go right by you.
So you might want to watch the whole off track. So we have off track and we have off duty. I said off duty should change his name to off track because he flew off the track in my track time video. But uh, another baby blue color. Hmm, interesting. I know that you want to target the younger demographic, but uh, I don't know how much you want to attract it. Just a little bit, okay? Super Blitzen! 71 Hum Hemikuda. Love that flame paint job. And another BMW E36 race. So if you guys didn't have a chance to find that, uh, it's in the uh, future assortments too, so that's good. And fantastic. I am actually very excited to see that the uh, 71 Datsun Bluebird 510 wagon is carrying over into the A case assortments because the new models don't necessarily carry over into the next ones. Many, many models uh, actually, you know, appear in one case code. They might have like that Datsun Bluebird. They might have that it appear in red in one case code and then it's gone. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then when it shows up later on, it's a different color. Berserk. Dodge Dart, 68 Copo Camaro. Another 68 Copo Camaro. Maximum Leeway, Rayuro LX. <clears throat> Another baby blue color. I was going to say, you know, the Rayuro LX. It's kind of had dark color so far. Black and I think like a brown, maybe a red. This is the lightest color so far. But another uh, baby blue. Yay, Snoopy's back. Thank you. I need more just in case for track time. I gave him track time before, but I didn't get. It. I haven't done a downhill race with him yet. Seventy-one Hemi Cuda, and there's Snoopy. And if you're watching, is that the same wheels? I don't remember which wheels he had on the first time. Ten Toyota Tundra, Datsun six twenty. Yes, another 71 Datsun Bluebird 510 wagon. Very nice. We'll take a close-up of the Datsun 620. I like this, this truck here. Simple. It's, you know, it doesn't look like Hot Wheels did anything with speed, power, or performance. Just, just stock truck. I like that uh, paint job. Looks like it would be representation of the time. Here we have nerve hammers back. Wow, crazy paint job. Kids are gonna like kids like that car. And I think they're gonna like that paint job too. Pretty good presentation with the uh, temples and the wheels and the green and the blue and the white. Yep, yep. Pretty good presentation. Nissan 370ZX and the G Ready Temple. Aston Martin 1963 DB5. Now in USA, we had Kmart Collectors Day. And this was one of the models that was first to market, which means they try to get it to Kmart first. And as far as I know, uh, this is the first time I've seen it in a case outside of Kmart. So they were good. I'm hoping for Batmobile. I like that. That was another first to market. And my son would like to get uh, a Batmobile too. So hopefully, hopefully there's a Batmobile in here. I didn't notice the uh, treasure hunt so far. I'm just kind of looking at the cars as they go by. And if I missed it, I'll check again at the end. There's a new model right there. You got the uh, 67 Chevelle SS. Now, in talking about case codes, I was watching somebody else's case unboxing video. And they had this in the Q case. I did not have mine. I did not have one in my Q case. So just because a car is in one Q case doesn't mean it's in another Q case. Maybe this one showed up in the later Q cases. Because, right, here it is. Here it is, 2015A. And it shows up uh, in this case. So maybe he had a later Q case code. And I had an earlier Q case code. I don't know. Bull Whip. We'll be right back to him in a second. Shark Cruiser. Yeah. It's always fun to see him in the lineup. Let's take a look at this one. Uh, choking Hazard. That must mean that this comes off right here. Some of their off-road stuff, I'll have to think about the names real quick. But some of their uh, slide out is one. That wing will come off. So I'll bet you that thing pops off. And that's, yeah, look, you can see a clip underneath. So if you're buying this for a, th so a kid three and under, you have to be aware that that thing will pop off, all right? Looks like it'll be a track car. Nice straight sides. Uh, if you're wondering if it glows in the dark, it doesn't quite look like that kind of glow in the dark. Hot Wheels Test Facility Bullwhip. 
pretty fun. Another 67 Chevelle SS 396. Uh, Mazda RX-7. By the way, Mattel's having some production issues. Check your seats. Sometimes, for some reason, the seats are forward. Uh, the cooling process, apparently, with the met, with the uh, parts, sometimes the seats fold forward. I think it's kind of neat if they're folded forward. It's as if someone's trying to get in the back seat. I, I don't think I've seen one for me yet. Dodge Charger Drift, another cool combi, and Super Blitzen. If there is a treasure hunt, one per case, and they're random, okay? Just because just you have a case doesn't mean you're going to get a treasure hunt. Street Shaker, another, both of these were last assortment. Another Dodge Charger Drift, another Mustang Mach 1, 70 Ford Mustang Mach 1. Land Crusher. Howlin' Heat did pretty good in track time last month. I say last month, but I mean the last case assortment. The cases, there's 15 a year, so it's technically not one a month. Jeep Scrambler, another Datsun 620. Ferrari, ooh, let's check this one out. Nice, sleek. Ferrari 599 GTB Fior, Fiorano, Fiorano, there we go. I shouldn't make it Fiorano. I don't think it's, it's Italian, right? So it's not Fiorano, not like I can say it right. Headlight tampos, stripes down the front, top I should say, stripes on the side. Got your Ferrari logo right there in the center of your screen behind the front tire. And with all those tampos, I don't know if it's going to have taillight tampos. Let's see. Nope, nada. Here we have, this was another first to market at Kmart. It's 86 Monte Carlo SS. I like these cars right here. I like this, uh, this, this, this year of cars, big bolt models. Well, I call them big bolt, but that's not technical. Here you have the rapid response. Another rapid response. Nitro door slammer. Love that paint job. I like how they split the temple. That's not an error. They, they stylized it like this half and half. Look on the card, see? That's how it's supposed to be. And when I talk about errors, I don't. I don't want you to think that, oh, I gotta buy errors. No, buy what you like. Here, this is definitely a 2015 new model. So when we look at the package, yeah, it looks like it's gonna be uh, 250 cars for the year. Pretty interesting. I think it's a uh, Golden Knight, isn't it? Let's see. Mm, James Bond, The Spy Who Loves Me. So this is another entertainment release. Nice to get some added value, getting some cars from uh, movies and stuff like that. What? License plate on a $1 model? You don't see that very often. Interesting car. What do you guys think about this car? To me, it's, uh, it's kind of DeLorean looking to me. Kind of Pantera looking. Lotus Esprit S1. Plastic base. Apparently metal body. Plastic wheels. Plastic interior. Plastic windows. Plastic bubble. And uh, cardboard. Fiat 500. Hey, look who's back. You have the Cockney Cab 2. Yeah, he's a booster car too. They call him Cockney Cab 2 because back in the uh, early red line days, 68 to 73, I don't know which year, but there was an original Cockney Cab. So, very good. There you go, Brits. You got yourself a, uh, a model with your paint scheme, and it's good for me. Red, white, and blue, except it's got black too. I prefer pa uh, USA Patriotic Red, White, and Blue. But I like collecting the uh, British Red, White, and Blue, too. Australian, too. Hawaii, too. Dodge Charger. I really like this tampo screen. Just, I love the blue. Just basic tampo on there. But I really like the blue. I like the stance of this model. Really like that car. Another Howlin' Heat. Another Bull Whip. Another Maximum Leeway. Nope, two-timer, sorry. Mad Manga, look who's back. He's not going to do any loops. Look at that. Look, look at this uh, spoiler in the front. Real low. He, he's not doing loops for sure. You probably don't want to use him in a downhill track either because as soon as he's coming down the accelerator ramp for the straightaway, 
as soon as he hits that transition, that part right there just drags. It's not a car you're going to want a downhill race or put in the boosters. Fiat 500. And you know what that means. Don't suggest them for track time because I am not going to use them. Probably not. I might use them just to show he fails. But if there's one per case, I might not. Not this time. 68 Dodge Dart, another Dodge Charger 500, and another Lotus Esprit S1. Very good. Remember, a suggestion or two for track time. And then when I get around to doing track time, I usually pick 16 models. And then I come back and I look for somebody to give a suggestion who happened to suggest that model. It's not like I look at your name and say, hey, he wanted me to use cool copy, so I'm using cool copy. No, I decide the cars and then I look for the shout out. I'd love to give everybody a shout out, but when uh, I can't do it. Over 300 suggestions per uh, case unboxing video. And nobody wants to sit around listening to me giving shout outs to over 300 people right you tune in for uh, toy cars you want to see pictures you want to hear a little bit of information and that's why you're here anyways thanks for watching God, i'm trying to find this should good chance there was a basic treasure hunt and i missed it i'm gonna cut i'm gonna look for it i found out that an acceleracer is the treasure hunt for the a case assortment but it is not the rdo2 it is in fact chicane so if you see this chicane version you're going to look for the uh, treasure hunt logo right there on the side you can see the red circle flame logo right in front of the rear tire anyways happy hunting and thanks for watching bye bye